Welcome to another BGR. Fear is a first-person shooter psychological horror video game developed by Monolith Productions. And the first game in the series, it was released October 18, 2005 for Microsoft Windows and ported by Day One Studios to the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 3. TimeGate Studios has released two expansion packs, Fear Extraction Point in October 2006, and then almost a year later, Fear Pursuit Mandate in November 2007. The both expansions were ported to the Xbox 360 packed under the title Fear Files. A direct sequel titled Fear 2 Project Origin was released by Monolith Productions in February 2009. A second sequel, Fear 3, was released later on, on 21st June 2011. Fear simulates combat from a first-person perspective. The body is fully present, allowing the player to see their character's torso and feet while looking down. Within scripted sequences, when rising from a laying position or fast roping down from a helicopter, for example, or climbing ladders, the hands and legs of the player can be seen performing the relevant actions. The dead man's name was Charles Haberger. I remember him. But are the memories mine or hers? It makes no difference. He deserved to die. They all deserve to die. Come in, over. What's going on? At last metal signal. Comcast is in dead water. How you guys doing? Another beer and game review. Starting off with, you know, some else today. Look at that color. Stout Samuel Smith's it's fermented in stone Yorkshire Square. Wow, we're going to beeradvocate.com. That's what I usually go to to find out some information about this lovely beer. Now, this one's a straight 7% ABB. ABV, alcohol by volume. Let's see how we got here. Uh, average score from 0 to 5, or 1 to 5, however other people do it. Yeah, 3.5 to 4.5 is the average uh, of scores. That color, jeez. That's going to be a thick one. Let's give it a taste. Wow. 
very oaky. Chocolatey. To be honest, I think I forgot how much this bottle cost. I think it was like $4. Uh, picked it up at the mall. Man, it tastes good. Here, this distinctive type of beer was originally brewed to withstand the abuse of shipping mm. and foul weather in Imperial Russia. He was a favorite of Russian nobility whose taste for the finest food and drink was world famous. Wow. Best served at about 15, uh, 15 degrees Celsius, I mean. Ingredients, very simple, water, malted barley, roasted malt, cane sugar, yeast hops. Smooth, it's thick. Love the color. By far the darkest head retention I've ever seen. Hmm, this is history. It's north of England. Smith was uh, established in 1758. Wow, more than 300 years old. Oh, just about 300 years old. Math is wrong. Excessive butcher and cattle dealer from Meanwood, Leeds. Hmm. Good stuff. By far one of the best beers I've had so far. I love Imperial Stout. The taste is thick. Almost no bitterness. It's very crisp, clean taste. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a number. First time doing a number on, on recording. Usually I put it at the end of the game, review. I'm gonna put it during the... Beer. I have to have to say... Four point seven five. Four point seven five. Lacing is good. Very good stuff. A prominent gameplay element is reflex time, which slows down the game world while still allowing the player to aim and react at normal speeds. As the player progresses through the game, they will be able to pick up injections that will increase the amount of health and reflex time that they have. Reflex time is used to simulate the character's superhuman reflexes. Reflex time is represented by stylizing visual effects such as bullets in flight that cause air distortion or interact with the game's Fear, lead designer Craig Hubbard, stated that Monolith Productions' primary goal was to make combat as intense as the Tea House shootout at the beginning of John Woo's Hard Boil. He continued on to say that defeating enemies with style 
was crucial to this goal and that the reflex time plays a large role in making the player feel like he or she are an action hero. And the game contains weapons based on non-fictional firearms such as pistols, assaults, rifles, and submachine guns, as well as entirely fictional armaments like particle beam weapons. Each firearm differs in terms of animation type, accuracy, range, fire rate, damage, and bulkiness. A core element of fear is its horrors theme, which is heavily inspired by Japanese horror. The design team attempted to keep the psychology of the encounter in the player's minds at all times in order to get under the player's skin as opposed to in your face monster jumping out of the closets approach lead designer Craig stated in an interview that horror is extremely fragile you can kill it by spelling things out too clearly and you can undermine it too much he remarked that he attempted to strike a balance with the narrative elements of fear to give players enough clues so that they can find their own theories about what's going on. Lead level designer John Mulkley stated, Creating expectations and then messing with that expectation is extremely important. Predictability ruins a scary mood. The main source of the game's horror is Alma, a ghostly little girl, Craig remarked that a guy in a mask chasing co-eds with the meat cleaver can be scary. But on some level, you're thinking to yourself, you could probably kick his ass if you get the drop on him. But when a spooky little girl takes out an entire Delta Force squad, how are you supposed to deal with that? Fear's audio was designed in a style Japanese horror film, with the sound engineers using inexpensive equipment to create sound effects, using methods including dragging metal across different surfaces and recording pump sounds. Monolith Productions commented, the sound designers had to be concerned with avoiding predictability. Now the plot, the story of fear, is presented in such a way that only a few minor elements are revealed in the game's beginning thus allowing players to experience the adventure as the heroes or heroines in their own spine-tingling epic of action tents of terror. Fetel is located by means of satellite tracking device and hunted by fear and Delta Force over several locations. While the villain evades capture by the special forces, the player witnesses unexplained and occasional life-threatening paranormal phenomena, including hallucinations that frequently affect and afflict him, all of which revolve around a red-dressed little girl named Alma. Now for my final thought and what I think about the game, I really enjoyed it. It had the first gimmicky... Um, time slowing down effect that I haven't seen in any game except for Max Payne but did well for a first person shooter sitting here while recording this I'm thinking more about the game and more of its storyline the storyline is kind of vague while playing the first part of the whole beginning of the game but then later develops more hidden but surely enough later the story does unfold as for the score the beer that I had Samuel Imperial Stout I gave that one a 4.7 as for the game Fear first of its series it was hard to decide I gave it a 6.7 a 6.7 well there you go guys that's my little score hopefully you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did making it I'll see you guys next time